Meza Ozel's demise is a tragedy with blame on all sides, but his brilliance will live far longer in memory. Ozil is in talks to join Turkish side Fenerbahce on loan, but Arsenal have indicated they do not want to pay any part of his salary should he move to the Turkish club for the rest of the season. Hey guys, we talk football here, and today we look at if Fenerbahce is the right destination for Mesut Ozil. The former German international's contract with Arsenal runs out in the summer, bringing an end to nearly eight turbulent years at the North London club. The Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta explained this week that Ozil's future should be resolved shortly. Arteta said when asked whether Ozil could remain at the club, I don't know what is going to happen. Obviously now he's free to negotiate with other clubs. We will discuss internally what the best solution for him is for the near future. Obviously with the player and agent too and try to find the best solution for everyone. Ozil last played a game for Arsenal on March 7th of last year against West Ham in the Premier League and it is clear that he will not feature again for the club. The 32 year old earns 350,000 a week at the moment and Fenerbahce are working on trying to find a solution to the fact that Arsenal are not currently willing to pay any percentage. Major League Soccer also remains an option for the World Cup winner, with DC United the most likely destination. However, the player's preference would be a move to the Super League. Fenerbahce are trying to work on a solution, but covering 100% of Ozil's wages may prove beyond them. Ozil was one of the several players who refused to take a pay cut during the coronavirus pandemic, and with his wages of 350000 a week, the London club are keen to get him off their wage books. From the Gunners' point of view, parting with Ozil and saving close to $9 million in wages for the next 6 months is, well, a dream come true. Some might still regard the 32-year-old as a legend. But others, including former Arsenal defender Martin Keown, will be glad to see the back of him. Keown has reiterated his anger at Ozil and accused him of deliberately undermining the club. It hurts me a lot that a player of that talent can't get on the football pitch. It's a crying shame, Keown said. For me, he doesn't go down as a legend because he doesn't match the energy and determinations of legends that I've seen at that football club. If he had Kieran Tierney's determination coupled with that ability, he might have gone down as the best player ever to play for Arsenal. In my personal opinion, I think there is no better time than for Mesut Ozil and Arsenal to move on from each other. Ozil is 32 and quite possibly nearing the end of his career. And Arsenal on the other hand have not included the German in the squad at all. However, it's evident to fans that Arsenal lack a proper number 10. Ozil is the best they've got, but it's unclear to us why he was left out of the squad entirely. Ozil has recently added fire to the rumors surrounding his Fenerbahce move, recently tweeting, I grew up as a Fenerbahce fan as a kid in Germany. Every German Turkish person supports a Turkish team when they grow up in Germany, and mine was Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce is like Real Madrid in Spain, the biggest club in the country. Now obviously this doesn't confirm anything, but it adds more speculation and further doubt to Mesut Ozil's future at Arsenal. Ozil's brother also just recently posted a Fenerbahce badge with a wink face emoji on his Instagram story. The midfielder has previously spoken about being frozen out at Arsenal, accusing the club of lack of loyalty for not including him in this season's squad after he started every game since Arteta's appointment prior to the 2019-2020 campaign suspension in March due to the coronavirus pandemic. Ozil's future will become a lot clearer over the course of the month of January. We know a deal with Fenerbahce is on the horizon for Mesut Ozil and it's not a matter of if but when, as the German is also reportedly happy to wait till his contract expires in the summer of 2021. Are his best days beyond him? Perhaps. But class is permanent and there's no denying Ozil's ability because I still believe even at 32 he would still impact any team in the world in a positive way. But let us know what you guys think. Is Fenerbahce the right destination for Mesut Ozil? Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys on the next one.